Hello everyone, welcome to another Excel Chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about how to use the cumulative interest payment function within Excel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So today is really going to be a, um, you know, finance -y kind of Excel episode. Uh, it's about cumulative interest payment, and that, for those of you who don't know, is just a cumulative interest that you have to pay over the life of a loan, so uh, or that someone is paying you. So the interest on a loan, how much total is the payment uh, over the life of the loan? Now, the way that we find cumulative interest is using the cumulative interest function. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I had the answer in there earlier, but we'll type in the function. Uh, so it's C-U-M-I-P-M-T, cumulative payment, parentheses. Now, we're just going to walk through the formula. You can see it on the left-hand side of the screen that our rate uh, is our interest rate. And the reason that we divide it by um, 12 is because it's compounded every month. So if you see uh, under cell C8, it says compounding periods per year is 12. Uh, so we divide by 12. And then we do the present value. Uh, excuse me. No. Uh, then we do the end per, which is the total number of payments for the loan, which is 60. Because if there's 60 months and uh, you have to pay every month, that means there's 60 payments. Uh, now we're doing present value, which is obviously 10,000 today. That's the value today. And then our starting period is going to be zero because after the first month, that's when our payment is made. And then last period is 60. And then when it asks for the type, it, when you put zero, you just say that you pay at the end of the period versus the beginning of the period. So I pay at the end of the first month. I don't pay my interest at the beginning of the first month because I, I have to wait for it to actually accrue. So now I have closed the parentheses. And there you go. And so we owe, uh, it just says negative because that's a representation that you owe it. It's not money coming in, it's money going out. So you owe uh, $1,460.69, about 70 cents. Um, and that in a nutshell is the formula. So if you just practice it a couple times and always remember, you know, uh, is it compounding every month, every six months, uh, always divide the rate by the compounding. If it's compounding every year, then you don't have to divide the rate. You'll be good to go. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.